Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kayla here and I wanna thank you all so much for clicking on today's video. As you can see from the title, I'm bringing you guys part two of our patio makeover. In our last episode, you guys saw Marcus build the frame for our whole patio and we finalized some of the plans for out here. If you're new here and this is your first time seeing our patio, I wanted to show you guys what it looked like in the very beginning and very soon you will see what it looks like currently. Um, before, our patio space was truly non-existent, so we decided to create one from scratch. So it's basically a gravel patio. Not really sure what to call it, but let's just call it that. And we did this because it was the most cost-effective way for us to get that look that we're going for, but also save tons of money, because y'all know the wedding is coming up, all that good stuff. But we actually really do like the way it looks. So right now, we're putting all that gravel that we got. This is actually 89 gravel, and we're using it to fill up our patio patio structure. The goal is to get it as level as possible, but let me tell you, this stuff is, it's a lot of work. It took a lot of hard work to fill this thing up so it could be completely level and smooth and just make the whole patio space a lot more functional. Um, it ends up looking really good at the end, so make sure you guys stay tuned and I can't wait to share with you guys all the progress that we make in today's video from painting to setting up furniture to putting in our new door. As per usual, we're just doing a whole lot. And if you are new here, please be sure to hit that subscribe button, y'all. Our goal is to get 150,000 subscribers. On my channel, I do a lot of home decor, home renovation, clean with me's, decorate with me's, and a few day in my life sprinkled in between. So if you love this type of content, definitely join the fam. And guys, do not forget to comment down below. Throughout this video, I share with y'all a few of my design choices, and I love to hear what y'all think. As always, please hit that like button because it helps out my channel so very much. And before we continue, we're gonna hear a word from today's sponsor. I want to thank Daily Harvest for sponsoring today's video. Stay tuned for the promo code because y'all are going to want to try them out. When completing any project, I always need a little fuel to get me over the hump. Daily Harvest has so many yummy and easy options like smoothies and these nutritious harvest bowls, which are the perfect blend of roasted veggies and gluten-free grains with delicious flavor. Can any of you guys relate to getting so engrossed in a project that you don't want to stop, not even to eat, because of how time-consuming going to get food or cooking something will be? Well, that's the story of my life, and it's the big reason why Daily Harvest is so perfect for me. Daily Harvest helps you stock your home with delicious foods made of real fruits and veggies that is ready to enjoy in minutes. Y'all know we are working on a lot of outdoor projects lately, so naturally, one of my favorite products is their summer smoothies. Their smoothies are not only super light and refreshing, they are easy, y'all. These babies are ready to blend, so it takes no time at all to give my body the delicious nutrients that it needs. I also feel good knowing that the ingredients are always plant-based, gluten-free, and dairy-free. So if you want to try Daily Harvest, my promo code is YLB, and that will get you up to $40 off your first box. The link will also be down below in the description box, so check it out, and cheers to healthier eating at our fingertips. All right, hey y'all, so I am in the van right now, and we are about to head to Home Depot to pick up the door, so let's get to it. Why do I need to be good all the time? I'm wrapped around his finger, but he is mine. Don't care what they say, too late anyway. Why do I need to be good all the time? Yeah, he gets when I'm in a bad mood. Then he, he knows how to make it all right. Yeah, I get that you got a history But I don't want to think about no other than us They look at me, I'm in a bad situation Look at him, he's got a bad reputation They be looking at us Thinking we are too much Look at me, I'm in a bad situation Look at him, he's got a bad reputation They be looking at us mm -hmm. 
Why do I need to be good all the time? I'm wrapped around his finger, but he is mine. Don't care what they say, too late anyway. Y'all, I had went to the wrong Home Depot store. So now I'm at the right Home Depot store and I'm waiting for my order. They actually have curbside here. This is a really cute little store. They might even have more, like a better selection of plants. But I do have my babies over here. They look so cute. I had to strap these in, y'all. Gotta keep the baby safe. So after I get the door, I might go and see what they have in the garden center look at me i'm in a bad situation look at him he's got a bad reputation but what about it why do i need to be good all the time i'm wrapped around his finger but he is mine don't care what they say to me So guys, this is the door, stunning. We're gonna have to cut it a little bit down here at the bottom, but I love it. It's gonna be so cute. All right, y'all, so now I'm at my parents' house picking up my patio furniture set that's been there for quite some time now, maybe two years. I bought this a little while ago from like an antique shop and I love the style of it. It's like that old school vintage look, um, which is totally like the vibe that we're kind of going for. We're at least trying to pull in those elements. We don't want it to look super modern back there because we have like a old school house so i think this set looks really really cute you guys will see later and i talk to you all about my ideas for it but comment down below what you think of it so far all right y'all so i am back home and you guys saw all the materials that i got earlier pretty much so what i'm about to do is begin painting this area right now i'm going to be painting the framing because it's not like a true white like on the front of the house so i just want everything to match and be seamless so i'm gonna paint the walls and also paint the trim so it looks like a lot more crisp and hopefully once I start painting, you guys can see the difference between the two colors. Because right now on camera, it probably looks super duper bright. But in real life, it's more of like a rich, creamy, almost beige type of color. So let's go ahead and start painting. So meanwhile, while I was painting, Marcus began to work on installing our new door that I had picked up earlier in the U-Haul, which is like a really pretty French door. I love this style. I think it goes great with the window that's right there along the patio. So first what he did was just take it down, take down the old door, and then he went ahead and measured up where the new hole should be for like the knob and the deadbolt. And because this door is was super long, we actually had to cut it off a little bit from the bottom. So he's taking off probably about four inches right now so it could fit perfectly within our space. And after this, y'all, the door kept giving Marcus trouble for some reason. So he had to shave off a little bit of the framing. 
um, just to make it fit a lot better, but it turns out looking really good in the end. And now I'm going ahead and painting the window trim black. I talked about this in my last video and you guys confirmed that that was the way to go. So please let me know if you like the look of it. I feel like it looks fantastic. Like this was just like the perfect amount of contrast that we needed back here. And it's really tying the space in all together and check out that door, it looks bomb. Hey y'all, so update. We, I finished painting this area over here. It looks really good. I just gotta touch up like these areas around the paneling because my brush dried out on me. So I gotta get another brush. Anyways, Marcus finally finished the door. It looks fantastic. It cost like a lot of trouble you got. And also I finished painting the um, little trim over here. So I think that looks super good. It's starting to look like something. Oh, so y'all, I want to paint this door pink. <laughs> In fact, I have the color right here. It'll be the same color as our front door. And this is in the shade called Pink Elephant. It's a really pretty shade of pink. So that needs to be painted. And then the window, I think I'm gonna leave it white because the laundry room is already like a dark space. So if it's black, it's just gonna look too dark because there's no light shining in from that way. As opposed to this, it doesn't look completely black from inside the windows. Hope that makes sense. So I'm gonna do this white. Um, and yeah, y'all, that's where we are right now. I gotta blow some of the leaves out of here. Marcus has to clean up. We are about to get ready for a party. Marcus is throwing me a party um, because I am leaving the job as a teacher. So he's throwing me a party and a lot of my family are coming over and he's barbecuing for us. So this is where everybody's gonna eat. Everybody's gonna sit in addition to the sunroom. But both of these spaces are kind of a mess right now. So we're gonna just throw it together real quick for the barbecue. And then we'll finish like the real makeover later. My family already knows what time it is, so I don't feel like pressure to hurry up and get it done. I'm thinking I have time to go ahead and paint this before the party. I'm gonna be using a spray paint. This one right here. Y'all know I love Rust-Oleum. I use this paint to spray my car, so I know it'll do a good job for this table. So the table's gonna be black and the chairs are gonna be white. And I'm thinking that the table should be black because the umbrella that we got is white. So it'll just give us a lot more contrast, you know what I mean? So I think that's what we're about to go ahead and do real quick, or I'm about to do real quick. And then we'll put up the umbrella and then we'll wait to do all the other things later. All right, y'all, here go to grill. So y'all, I know I may be crazy, but I've been wanting to paint this thing. What y'all think? Let me know down in the comments. Eventually, I'll paint it black for Marcus, but I think it'll look so cute if it was like pink or like a pale yellow. Just something fun. What y'all think? Must do something right We can't get enough of us You, me, every night Aiming for the stops with the love so bright You, me, must do something right Baby, I believe in us I believe You, me, you, me, you, me, you, me Yes I believe 
All right, so while the table was drying, we decided to go ahead and begin building the cooler for our little barbecue party. I love this cooler so much. It is the cutest thing ever. We got it off homedepot.com and it comes in so many different fun colors. I'm talking like blue, yellow, purple, pink. I almost got the pink actually, but decided to go with this white, which is actually looking a little bit more gray here on camera, which is fine. <laughs> and I think it's just so adorable. I'll have it linked down below for anybody who wants it. You can move it wherever you want and it holds quite a lot of stuff. So now for the party, I'm also going ahead and setting up like the chairs and putting out the umbrella and stuff. And this is Marcus's mom, y'all. I don't know if you've ever seen her on my channel. So make sure you show her some love down in the comments. She was in town and she was just helping me with literally everything. So sweet. And we were just setting up the table right now, making sure everybody had enough to room to get in and out. And then we're gonna get ready for the barbecue. are over even though decorating this is gonna be a lot of fun I had the best time last night like it was really good just to kick back with my family and just celebrate all the new things that are coming and then the food was on point Marcus did a great job with the barbecue so he's actually cutting the grass right now Yesterday we did the cooler, we did the umbrella, the chairs, we just set everything out, the grill, now we have to paint the door, now we have to paint the window, now I have to do some touch up paint on the um, woodworking. So guys, let's go ahead and get to work. All right, y'all, so it's just a little bit later in the evening now. We actually ended up having more of a chill day than anything else, but finally we're like, well, let's at least go ahead and start mixing the concrete together. So if you guys saw our part one, I mentioned that we needed to have some sort of light pole almost so we could put the string lights up. So we decided to take a flower pot and fill it with concrete, and then we're gonna stick the pole in that so it can be really secure. 
Um, I got that pole from Home Depot. I believe it was about $20, which was a pretty good deal. And the sandbags were $5 each, but we only ended up using one. So we were able to make this whole little light pole for $25. We already had the pot, so we're not technically counting that. And I know they sell like similar light poles on Amazon. You can get like four for $99. So if you don't want to go through like doing all the concrete, which I totally understand, you can definitely just get some light poles from Amazon and they're about eight feet. All right, y'all, so it's time to paint the door. The color is called Pink Elephant. If you watch my exterior makeover where we, redid, where we redid the front of the house, you guys know that this is the color that we use over there. So now we're gonna be using it back here on the door. And I'm really excited about it. I think it's gonna be so pretty. So, like, look how gorge. I know some people aren't a fan of this color, and that is okay. I want your clothes and tight. Yeah, I want it my, my, my way. Love is a feeling. And you can quench this fire. Alright y'all, so now it's time to go ahead and paint the door pink, pink elephant to be exact. I actually was so close to leaving this door the natural color, but then I was like, mm, nah, it'll stay natural on the inside um, from the sunroom because it just flows better with that space, but everything doesn't have to be like super matchy matchy. I wanted a little pop of color out here and this door ties in with the front door. So I was like, I'm gonna just go ahead and do it. So let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments. You'll see in part three, how like the pink door kind of ties in with a lot of the other little design elements that I'm doing. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that part three, which will be the finale episode will be coming out next Sunday. And I cannot wait to show y'all how everything has turned out. We have the shelves up. We put the lights on the light pole that we made and that light pole is holding it down. Okay. I think that was such a good, like fun, cost effective project. We also have begun decorating such exciting stuff. I just cannot wait for like all the other fun projects that we have coming up out here in the backyard. You guys, it's going to be quite a fun time. Only you can make my world go black. Say you love me, then you take it back. Say it again, say it again. Uh, I want my forgiveness, so say it again. So now that the door is painted, and just in case you're wondering, I did do two coats on it. I'm beginning to work on prepping the window. If you guys just notice, or even you can see right now that this window had like a lot of paint on it. Whoever had painted it before did a terrible job. Like all the paint is outside of the line. So I'm using this like box cutter to scrape off all the extra paint. 
and then I'm taping up all the edges so I can begin painting this baby and like I said I think I'm gonna do it in white but you guys let me know if you think there's another color that might be a little bit better that you think I should do instead and that brings us to the end of today's video and part three will pick up right here with finishing off the window and painting it doing all of the things and then decorating and that like i said will be our finale video so thank you guys so much for watching this update on the patio makeover i hope you really enjoyed it and i'll catch you guys in my next one bye guys <laughs>